Yeah, it's the it's the rebellion among some app developers who don't want to pay that anymore. They think it's too high, clearly. And that is going to be a key issue in this case. The judge even mentioning it today that it's going to be on her mind when she decides uh, once the case wraps up on Monday. Um, so that 30 percent key, but also other key issues for Epic as it tries to make that case is 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 this idea that the, the app store is a unique market and that's the place that they should be fighting. It, whereas Apple would like to say there's lots of other places that people can buy Fortnite other than in the app store. If they don't like the terms of that deal, that 30 percent that they have to pay. It's interesting, though, Tim, because I, I follow, obviously, Ben Thompson of Stratechery, whose take on this is that it seems like, uh, and he's tweeted about this, that Apple could be accused of similar anti-competitive practices that Microsoft practiced in the past. But it's interesting that there doesn't seem to be a lot of public outcry. Do you think this is because it's an issue that the public itself isn't directly affected by? It just affects the middlemen. Well, that's you, you hit on this issue is that the user most likely isn't aware of what's going on here. Uh, the Apple uh, in the app, it does not allow for an app uh, developer to say, hey, if you go someplace else, maybe this app will be cheaper. And that's part of Epic's complaints. Epic is complaining that not only does Apple prohibit other app stores on the iPhone, but also requires those app developers to use its in-app payment system, which they say is unfair. And they would like to have their own payment system, which they think could be uh, cheaper. So, Tim, two quick questions. Number one, I assume that this 30 percent commission applies not merely to the moment where you buy the app, but to every in-app purchase you make. Answer me that. Number two, um, how do you make an antitrust case against a company whose market share of, of phones worldwide is not dominant? Well, this is the unique part of this case, and this is kind of one of the challenges that Epic has. And it, it, essentially, they're arguing to the judge that that Apple has a monopoly on its operating system, that, that the way that apps can be on the phone, and that the illegal monopoly is that they control how apps are distributed onto the phone, that that is where they dominate. And then that is where they're using their power to harm other developers. The idea mm -hmm. that Apple mm -hmm. won't have an app store by a competitor is what's it really at debate here. Uh, so that's kind of what the judge is going to have to weigh into. It's, it's kind of on the forefront of the legal debate. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.